Hello everybody, my name is Pete, and this is going to be my first video tutorial on this channel. Um, for some of you who may know me from a different channel, I'm not going to give the name of it just because there's no need, but um, this channel is going to be dedicated to strictly um, 3D and 2D uh, design. So today what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create wine glasses as you can see here well we're going to create one and we're going to add a material uh, the same kind of material you see here so let me zoom out if I can I can't zoom out but uh yeah okay so first I'm just going to hide this so we go ahead and hide it okay so what I'm going to do really quick click Z and this will reset all my viewports and um so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come into the uh, what is this? create tab and then shape or geometry and we're going to click cylinder. All right. Now I have my height segments set to 1, cap segments set to 1, and sides set to 10. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take off smooth because we won't need it. And we're just going to pull this out and pull it up. Okay. Uh, that's the first part. Again, extremely simple. Now you're going to right click, then you're going to convert it to an editable poly, as you can see, I just did. Um, and we're going to select the face or polygon selection icon, and we're going to use bevel. Okay. We're just going to bevel it in like that, and another bevel like that. Alright, next thing we're going to do is we're going to extrude it up. So, uh, about there should be good. And I'm really kind of eyeballing everything, but uh, yeah. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to extrude this up a little bit and branch it out. Uh, probably go a little bit more, so we're going to scale it, which is R by default. It's your hotkey. And we're going to do one more. We're going to come straight up to this one. This one we're going to come. Actually, it should probably be about there. And then. And then. And there you go. Now you have a wine glass, or at least uh, somewhat of a wine glass here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all those vertices here. And I want to make sure that I don't select anything that I don't want. So I'm going to come up to the front viewport and do it. So those, and we're going to scale those in. And let's see. I guess we can select all these and scale them down. There and then we're going to scale these in. All right, there we go. Uh, makes our wine glass look a little bit better. And now we're going to come to the bottom here, and we're going to bevel this up and make it go in, so like that. All right, and let's see. Now um, everything looks good on our glass here. Just keep it how it is. And we can just add a mesh smooth modifier to it. All right, which uh, all you have to do is come up into this modifier list tab, uh, click M on your keyboard until you hit mesh smooth, click enter, and it will smooth it all up for you. All right, now I don't really like the look right there, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these, pull these straight down, uh, way about there, and or actually keep those up this up to about there all right and that fixes that for me and you'll notice that I left that open um, really I'm just gonna delete that out because we don't we don't need that um, all right now what we're gonna do is we're going to click M on our keyboard which will bring up a material editor as you can see, I have a whole bunch of different materials set here, so I'm just going to come down to my blank materials. I'm going to add this and change it from standard to ray trace. Alright, and fog is default and that's fine. Alright, uh, we're going to do a blue kind of glass. This will kind of make it clear. Uh, i got to make it lighter blue, okay. We're going to take the transparency, and as we move it down, you'll notice that it gets more and more transparent. So we're going to put it almost into the white, uh, about there. Alright, um, 
And then we're going to add specular and glossiness. Uh, glossiness, you want to be only about half of your specular. Uh, specular, whatever. Um, now we're going to come to extended perimeters. Or parameters, sorry. And the extra lighting, we're going to pull down. And that will uh, illuminate the um, material a little bit. Translucency, we're going to pull down about there. And this flor uh, fluorescence, uh, fluorescence, we're going to keep it uh, exactly what it is. Now we're going to come to the transparency. Just click that little uh, little box right next to it. And we're going to come into fall off. And just reverse that. And we can change this to Fresno. And then I'll just put a line around it. And now we can go ahead and render it out. So I'm going to pause this and render it out for you. And there you have it. You now have a wine glass with a nice material to it. Uh, you can go ahead and play around with the material settings. Uh, just get used to it a little bit. Um, or make it a little bit better looking. I uh, really quick have also anti-aliasing on, which will get rid of any of the uh, jagged edges that might come up. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, again, thanks for watching, and hope to see you guys in my later videos.